like screen is visible to you right yes 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 yeah you can go okay. ahead yes uh first uh, we have to understand like why data anal analytics is uh, needed uh, so much in uh, right now in this industry because uh, what is happening right now data is a uh, different gold in different terms like uh, if somebody wants uh, consider a business they do like marketing and uh, selling their products so if uh, if there is any data analyst in their organization what he can do is he can analyze their data analyze their sales analyze their approach and give them a solution on the basis of that if somebody uh, in any organization can give these type of uh, solutions that will be very important for the organization so uh, the boost in the uh, world happening for this data analytics is the reason is reason is this only like everyone wants to increase their profit by uh, changing the structure and approach for the uh, business like initially they were doing a traditional approach but after reading their data they are uh, analyze their data they uh, change their approach and they uh, increase their sales so data analytics comes into the picture there so now uh, some of you were confused like uh, like we are not from technical background and we don't know coding and all so how we'll gonna proceed see in data analytics no hard coding is required only basic coding and your analytical skill is much more required instead of coding so if you can anal analytically think about the data means you are good in this program but if you have a uh, coding skills as well that's it's it's your uh, like advantage like you will get more opportunity into this world but it is not necessary like you need to uh, do coding as well so first think like what will be data and how you have to think about the data like if you can see i i did a picture here there you can see team concept power success and a lot of images they are like they are a data in in the terms of uh, any organization like i need to if you see here uh, a bar chart oh sorry line chart so it is showing something like uh, how we can show our data um, if you see here no coding is required you just see like ha huh, if my profit is increasing for this particular reason so if i increase this re region on the other scale as well so i can boost up my uh, sales ultimately so this is the analytical and st statistical approach you can say so first you have to learn a uh, few see there are four pillars in this analytical course what we are going to learn is first how to prepare data because we, we, before uh, building any approach in our data first we have to prepare of data like uh, consider any organization example amazon so M amazon provide us a data so it is never be cleaned for our usable, usable so first we have to clean the data like they have uh, order order data uh, order details data and customers data and uh, uh, their product data so we have to clean them like so that we can use and visualize their uh, requirement so if a manufacturer from the amazon comes to us and ask uh, like my uh, sales is not getting boosted from last past past month so for that purpose first approach will be like uh, what can we do with this data so first we will see which products customer bought in last month if we see like uh, there are bad reviews and something so we need to modify the product right and if somebody uh, came on the page and uh, didn't check about other details and uh, he saw the picture and he moved out from that page so it means that we have to change the picture of the product so these all data is stored in our uh, company's database we have to check that like how much st stages uh, customer reached on the particular product we have to modify that and provide them the solution like your customers are reaching only this page and not checking on these these information and if they are checking uh, they are they reached to check out then if they didn't find any offer then they uh, came out from that page so these are all our information 
in form of data in on in form of uh, tables so if you understand like data can be structured and non structured as well like a uh, data if you understand uh, everyone aware of like excel what is excel in excel we have data in terms of cells so data data uh, can be seen in a structured format but sometime it is not in structured format so in analytic uh, in our analytic data analytics course we will learn and we will understand all about structured data not about uh, non structured data or unstructured data because in unstructured data we can consider images file and something like, like that we will not uh, study all that because ultimately we have to uh, work on the statistics uh, like how we can increase the sales or uh, uh, how we can increase the profit on a particular margin and like that so uh, now see we we have to clean the data and prepare the data for our visualization then comes to the visualization part like our data is prepared fully now and now we will push our data into in a particular visualization tool visualization tool can be uh, like you can use python as well you can use uh, tableau as well you can use uh, power bi as well you can use clicksense and other etc but uh, you will get confused like uh, why we use visualization tool right so visualization tool is like uh, now we have a data now we have to populate in a easy understandable language or you can say visualization because uh, if we show them uh, if we show our data to the manufacturer and tell them see your profit is decreasing in this table and your uh, sales is decreasing in this table he will not understand right how he, he can understand if we show them on a particular graph or on a particular kpi on a particular uh, chart something like that then only he will able to understand otherwise he will uh, bit like uh, what is this like i'm not able to get it what you want to say and something like that so he should understand what you want to say this is the method uh, this is the approach we use visualization tools so uh, one of the tool is tableau in, in tableau what happens when you pull your data it comes into the tableau and then you have to start visualizing uh, your uh, data so now you have to understand what is tableau how how to use tableau how to operate with the tableau so you should clear like this tool is used for visualization tool now i'm little bit explaining about the tableau uh, like how we are going to proceed with the tableau how we can visualize and all and will uh, also we have to understand like why tableau as well like uh, for we have other power bi and all also but why tableau is most important because right now in the industries if you see power bi is scalable in a small small organization like if you see uh, if there is any startup and they want to use any uh, visualization tool they will go with the power bi because they can power bi can handle small data small range of data in a very good way and provide lot of freedom for the developers as well but in tableau you have artificial intelligence python supports and uh, it can handle a big data as well like if you have a billions of rows and columns it can handle easily uh, in power bi you will face difficulty in terms of handling the data in tableau uh, sometimes some of the uh, critical kpis and charts are difficult to uh, showcase uh, compared to power bi because what happens power bi can handle small data so they can uh, uh, do automatic algorithms to showcase the kpis and charts but what happens in tableau uh, we have to create everything manually like we have to learn first like if uh, they they uh, somebody ask you to draw a donut chart what happen now you have to create a donut chart using pie chart because tableau doesn't support donut chart so before going into a uh, deep about pie chart and donut chart let's understand what is tableau and why we are going to use it okay now if you see uh, in tableau what if you are a uh, tableau developer or consider like a, a data analyst now you want to showcase your data so you should be having a tableau creator license okay 
otherwise you will not be able to provide uh, the services because you cannot be able to draw and something like in the tableau if you see here uh, huh. most of the organization use tableau leaders use tableau uh, there are other tools as well click salesforce sysense and sas sap and all these things now why tableau it comes to your mind like why we should uh, tableau i already told about a uh, bit on this and uh, in detail if you see we have uh, we have connections joins and analyze billions of record i already told you in the uh, like joins and connection if you talk about joins and connection uh, we have to connect data right we can connect multiple kind of data sources kind of flat fly, flat, flat flat files what is flat flat files flat files are those like uh, excel files csv files these are flat files they will not change in terms of database we can say mysql microsoft sql server and these are the database like they will connect directly to the uh, tableau and we can start using the visualization cloud services we can use uh, like uh, google sheets and all we can use them api apis what happens some websites provide apis to use their tables so we can use them uh, as well in the direct in tableau directly tableau supports sorting grouping and filtering uh, otherwise uh, like other tools also support these but uh, if you see the working and functionality of these uh, sorting grouping and filtering these are very uh, in the detailed manner and you will see like what is actually happening in the data you can see actually and there is no code for that no need to worry about that like we have to code for sorting grouping and all it is just a drag and drop but uh, the main important thing is you have to apply your logic at that moment otherwise see um there is not any difficulty in uh, sorting grouping and difficulty but your logic should be clear like you should clear what is your requirement until and unless your requirement is not clear in your brain you cannot implement into the any visualization tool so first clear on your requirements make a note on that like what you want exactly then only you proceed otherwise what will happen you proceeded and uh, your requirement is not clear in your brain itself so ultimately what will happen you will uh, will not be able to achieve your goals next is uh, custom calculations using integer uh, excel like functions yeah in tableau there are custom calculations like whatever you want to do you can do anything with the custom calculations but here uh, is a twist like in custom calculations you can use your excel like formulas or functions like we have excel functions like v lookup and x lookup h lookup you can use uh, these functions directly in the tableau also there are other functions as well that tableau, tableau supports you can use them and uh, create some uh, analytical approach and showcase your data in a very good manner now uh, comes to the dashboard part like see what happens when we deliver our uh, show, uh, when we showcase our data in terms of visualization ultimately we are delivering a dashboard so our uh, dashboards should be like uh, self readable like it is not like somebody somebody will come and explain what is this what is this this is this will not be our scenario like it should not it it should be a self explanatory if we are showing some kpis if somebody jump on the dashboard if uh, like see there is a kpi, uh, KPI to showcase sales so he should understand like this is sales and when he hover on that kpi he should see uh, like this is the range for a date range for the particular kpi uh, for, for the particular kpi and the sales will be for this particular range so uh, we are we are not there to explain them this is kpi for this particular range and this 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 if you consider previous example manufacturer can understand by themselves like no need to explain uh, by sitting uh, near to them 
okay so uh, this should be uh, done through the visualization tool also uh, we are using tableau because it is uh, it provides us a industry uh, industry leading user community like what happens there are there will be a, some scenario you might not be able to uh, showcase like how we can visualize this thing and you will uh, in tableau you will get a community uh, community there are a lot of people uh, when you post something like you posted some query like uh, i'm uh, facing difficulty by doing this 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 some of uh, one of them will explain or multi more of more person will explain like you can go with this approach and you will get your solution so there you will get see community user community will be a lot you will use in your uh, time period like because what happens no one is like genius something like they can do anything there are some scenarios you will learn so it is a uh, by doing and learning things okay so moving next to is how huh. if if we uh, see like tableau is like uh, you everyone know like tableau is paid right but uh, by during the course we can use uh, tableau public app so it it supports free functionality like you cannot share your workbooks but you can create and learn everything okay so it is not like uh, we have to be a part of any organization or need to buy the license for tableau and all it is completely free free on the public side okay and uh, if we see the installation guide and all like it supports both mac see some there are some users who is having mac system and some of them having windows system it supports on both the systems so you guys can download any one of them and uh, install in the installation is very easy like just install any other executive file you can download it easily after downloading and everything like uh, you can see here uh, there is a dashboard there are some kpis if you see sales quantity profit ratio customer and the other map chart and the heat map chart and there are uh, bar chart so we have we are gonna deliver this kind of dashboard to the uh, end user okay so first you have to understand everything in this uh, whatever layout it is present so first there are three key layers first is data source what will come in the data source like whatever database we have whatever flat, flat files we have whatever clouds are uh, cloud we have we can add it add in in the data source now uh, we have to uh, create sheets see there are uh, there is a difference between sheets and dashboard dashboard contains multiple sheets and like if you see this uh, screen there are uh, sheets 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and all like these are the sheets and we are uh, integrating all the sheets in one dashboard okay so dashboard is ultimately uh, clubbing all the sheets that we need to showcase to our end user okay we cannot show our sheets because that will reveal our data to the end user i don't want to uh, show show my data i just want to show them their uh, kpis like uh, they have sales this month they have quantity this month and like this okay so understand like this we have three layer sheets dashboards and data source now we will learn uh, and uh, think how flow is happening see data source is uh, data source layer will be like this here you will push your data i will show you everything like what is happening here in the app as well like uh, in the tableau itself so we'll do parallelly like how it is how the things is happening ex exactly when we connect the data like uh, suppose we connected our data so we'll get a lot of filter here and we understand like how uh, these filter will work if we apply here and in the in, inside the sheets and later like if sheets is created now we have to pull it into the dashboard like this is the flow connect the data source analyze your calculated field and uh, visualize your kpis and all everything in the sheets later push into the interactive dashboard 
interactive dashboard means like you can in literally interact with the dashboard uh, means you can talk with the da dashboard in different terms like not uh, literally you can talk but you can uh, see if there if you see here this kpi 2.30 million this is literally talking with us like they are t uh, it is telling your sales is 2.30 million okay now we'll move, move to next like blending data see blending data uh, what we are going to see is in the data source section we saw we can connect uh, flat fly, uh, flat files servers saved data sources right so uh, the layout for this is like this when you go to the data source section you will see this kind of layout you can see tableau server see what happens there are two kind of data sources either it is published on the server what happens there is a tableau server everything will be published on the server then only we can share with the third party person if there is any data source published on the server itself so we can use them as well so that for the, uh, to access that server we have to click on this and provide the credential for the server then we are good to go in case we don't have a server a data source at server now we have to go to a file section in file section if you see excel file it supports text file it supports json files it supports access files pdf spatial file statistical file and more in the in terms of server we have lot of servers like uh, you can use sql mysql oracle redshift and other you can consider like all the data sources uh, servers it supports okay and uh, here we what we are going to use it in this course is sample superstore it is like you can consider this is a flat file is it is an excel file and and it is provided by tableau to uh, learn the things okay to connect ha huh. see what happens if we are uh, we connected uh, one of the data source using this panel then no need to go back to uh, add another data source there will be a, a tile to add another data source directly from the uh, sheet level no need to go back like uh, if you are jumping between these two uh, tabs no need to do that okay now uh, understand the data connection examples we understood like uh, what is what kind of like uh, text file csv and uh, another is excel file so what happens when you connect to an excel file tableau will display a list of tabs and named ranges ranges contained within the workbook see uh, when we connect an excel file it will show the excel available like if we have sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 3 all will be available here but when we connect csv tableau will populate the data panel pane automatically since it's a single uh, table right but if we have multiple it will show multiple got the difference between these two now move to databases when we connect to a database it will shows all the tables available in the database obviously it is obvious like uh, if we consider any companies or uh, any organizations data database they will have lot of table like uh, if we can uh, consider e-commerce platform any e-commerce platform they have multiple table like orders customers uh, payment detail pay or uh, table and uh, order detail table and they are, if they have sell, uh, sales persons as well sales persons table these tables are available now what we are going to do is we have to uh, see what happens if we uh, want to use data bit from two tables now what we have to do is we have to choose data wisely now it comes to the data preparation now uh, see here are two tables orders and peoples and we need both table and uh, data from both the tables so first we have to join these two tables so in the joining part we have to understand how we can join two table right before joining two table we have to understand what table contains otherwise we can we cannot join right so for in any table there will be a primary key and foreign key what is primary key primary key is primary key can never be 
zero. If it is zero, it means that this is not your primary key. This is your first rule. Second is, uh, your uh, other other columns can be zero and no need to worry about that columns. Like uh, if we have orders table, orders table contain order ID, order date, ship date, ship mode, customer ID, customer name and all. But here order ID cannot be zero. So you can consider my order ID is my primary key. So if you go to uh, people table, in people, you have uh, the customer's detail, you can understand like this. In the customer details, you have customer name, their address and their uh, other, other things. But you will have a customer ID as well. In order, you will have also customer ID. So in this scenario, what will happen in th these two tables, customer ID become foreign key and the customer ID is available in the orders table as well. So customer ID will become a primary key from orders table and foreign key from the people table. So we can join on the basis of customer ID, both two table. Now joining can happen on multiple scenarios. Uh, not like uh, we can join on the basis of like uh, matching column, non-matching columns, of a one a one table is matching with the other and uh, there are uh, four scenario total like we'll talk uh, hmm. consider like a uh, two Venn diagram okay in Venn diagram what happens if uh, if we are if we the, the output should be common data from two tables from orders and peoples now what we can do is we have to use inner joins. We will understand all the joins in a detailed way. Like what are the types of joins, how we can join two tables, how we can join multiple tables, how we can eliminate, eliminate particular column from the uh, table. These all will gonna under, uh, learn through this, throughout this course. And for that purpose, we have to learn SQL, Structured Query Language Programming. No need to confuse. It is not any uh, strong programming. It's just a uh, like NLP, natural language programming. In NLP, what will happen? Like if you want uh, data from a table, like uh, consider this table only and say, I want data from uh, orders table for this customer ID. So in programming, what you're going to write is in SQL, uh, select a star from custom uh, orders table where customer ID is this. This is your syntax. There is no any hardened rule. You just need to say what you want and just write it. Uh, SQL will, will provide the results. Like this, we are going to proceed. So wh what are the things we are going to learn here? First, we have to prepare the data. We can prepare data using SQL. So we have to com complete learn SQL from uh, till advanced level, how we can fetch data from the database, we, how we can use the company's database, how we have to learn the uh, learn the tables, memorize the tables, and prepare the data for the visualization tool. After that, preparing the data, now it comes to analyze part. Now, analyzing part we can do using multiple tools. Like I told you about uh, Python, and uh, other BI tool like Power BI and Tableau, we can use them. So we learn all these tools as well. Next, we are going to do is ultimate dashboard creation and on up sharing with the clients how it is possible. So this will be our flow and we will proceed like this. Hello. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's a very nice uh, Shubham. Okay, so it's a well uh, in.